Hey guys, it's Jasmine and I have a very special tutorial for you. Today, we're going to learn about how to make graphics and logos using Canva. This is a beginner course. Now, they do have a free version of Canva, which you can use, but you're gonna be limited with the, um, the special effects and the type of fonts that you can use. I'm not normally one for buying apps, but I highly, highly recommend um, going pro with Canva and you'll have unlimited access to a lot of things. But today we're going to learn how to do a few, um, learn a few tricks with uh, what you can do with Canva and especially how to make a very professional, nice looking logo and a little bit about how to incorporate that into a label as well. So here we go. All right. So welcome to our official logo and simple graphic design for beginners. So I always recommend, as I stated earlier, getting Canva. It starts off free, but you can always um, upgrade to get some more fonts and some more features. I highly recommend it um, if you want to have the full blown experience. So the wonderful thing about Canva is that they give you these templates that you can work with for your logos or if you're making sort of graphics. And they're really simple to use if you want to go for one. Just to show you um, how to do it, we're gonna start from scratch. And whenever we do, I always click the first one right here on the left uh, that says Instagram post, and it has a little Instagram sign on it. And like I said, you can always pick one of the designs that you see, but I'm gonna start blank here, and we're gonna start from scratch. It asks you if you want to upload images. Um, this is great for if you have any sort of PNGs that you wanna use in your picture. And this one, we're gonna start with a simple word type of logo. I think these are the best, especially for products and um, almost any company because it's more simple. It's It says you and your company without having to take too much away or add to it. So you just select add a heading. You're going to go and you're going to pick whatever font you want. I am personally partial to, um, I like calligraphy, signature, um, like uh, cursive ones. But it, it depends on your preference. If you like a more bold look, you can go with that. And let's see. So we're going to start with this font here. And you're going to click it. I have the advanced version, so this might be what you're seeing here. It's pretty simple. Let's think of a brand. Let's call this Skin Care Co. Let's do skincare like that. And then sometimes I like to do an offset of like different types of um, fonts. I think it looks pretty cool. Skincare Co. And those are going to be both lowercase with a little period at the end. And then let's see. You can always change the font and make it fit more of whatever it is that you're going for. That doesn't look too bad. I kind of like the way that one looks. You can always adjust the spacing if you want it to be a little bit closer together or further apart. I kind of like it a little bit closer together. I think it looks cute. And then you adjust it to size just so it looks like it all fits together. And boom, there you have a simple little logo. And you can add other little elements to it. Like, let's see, you can add some lines or a circle. Let's look at some simple ones that we can add to it. If you wanted to just add ooh, like a line, you pull that down. You can shorten it if you want to have something simple like that. And say if you wanted to put one on top and on bottom. Skincare Co. You can add your, your tagline. We'll add another text. And then let's see, we'll try this font. We're going to make it smaller. I like the bottom to be spaced out more. And then I'm going to use my own tagline from my business, just for example here. Let's do edit. Let's say, uh, company that cares about skin. Mine's a little bit different. Mine is the brand that cares about skin, but since we're doing skincare company or skin care co here, then we'll just do this one. Make it a little bit smaller. And then I think that looks pretty chic. 
and then like I said you can tailor it to whatever you want it to be so okay now you're going to save however you want to save you take this part out I'm going to just I'm going to save it without the lines on it and I'll show you why here whenever you want to save it without the line so there's a little arrow pointing up with a square a half square kind of going on the bottom of it in the far right corner you're going to click that if you want it to have the white background you just save as image if you want to have it with uh, the with the background clear or no background you save with transparency and this is called a PNG now this means there's no black background the background is uh, transparent so that it could be transferred onto anything now let's apply this to a label these are some of my, my prior designs. So what I'm going to do is, I'm not even gonna make a copy. We're gonna start from scratch again. Instagram post. And then I'm going to actually take the picture I just did from my gallery. And then it kind of comes up as a black square, but that's gonna fade away in just a second here. There you go. Okay, and then depending on what size your um, your jars are or your um, skincare products, whatever it is that you're selling. For this one, let's go ahead and just say that it's skincare products. You want to make sure that you measure your sides and how they're going to be by inches. You're going to get a measuring tape and measure around. I always, um, just for as a you know precaution to check, I will mark down how many inches are on a piece of paper, cut it out, and then wrap it around to make sure it fits as I uh, as the measurements would and adjust if I need to. So you're going to click those top three uh, little circles at the, at the top of the page and you're going to resize. You're going to change this to inches. This first one is width. Let's go with mine. For example, mine are 8.5. We're just going to do eight for the sake of this. And then we're going to do by three. You copy and resize and there it gives you more of a label layout. Okay. So you can have this big and in the middle if you want to. I like to kind of have mine hanging out at the top. And then one thing that I advise is you press those three buttons at the top again and you do show print bleed. This is gonna help you when it comes to printing your logos because you wanna give it a little bit of bleed room and make sure that um, the ink isn't gonna run over those margins. Okay, mm -hmm. so now you can start. Let's just say that we have a Let's do a text. Here is where the name of the text would be. Nice and big and attention grabbing there. And I like to make the fonts kind of matching. So whatever your aesthetic is, you stay with that look. So let's call this product, oops. And if you had make an error, just like I did, there's a little kind of um, back button up here at the top at the left corner next to that home button. You click that, you press edit, and there you go. We'll call this one um let's do vanilla velvet how about that that sounds fancy or let's do velvet vanilla you can have all kinds of fun with the names and then i like my cursive font but that's a little bit too unreadable you do want your um your stuff to have readability now what's cool about this is that you can type up here what kind of lettering you want I like calligraphy, so let's look into that, different kinds. Since my logo is cursive, I actually may want to go with just a more bold type of font for the name. Let's just look and see what works here. Oh, that's a little bit too bold for my taste. That one is a little bit closer. Oh, that might be it. Let me try one more. And then we will move forward with this. There was another one that I liked earlier. Yeah, that one goes with my aesthetic and it's all caps, which is fine. Let's see. So we're going to make that a little bit bigger. And what I like to do, if you are going to have um, like any with any labels, sometimes you can add, you can do uh, look here. It says effects. You press it and you can add little effects to your um to your label. So here shadowing, I like to do if your letters are kind of light or, or they're going to be thinner or harder to see, you're going to want to kind of underline them so that it makes them stand out more. Now what I did was I just add, added a white underline and it just makes the letters a little bit sharper. And I think that works for that one. Okay. So then vanilla velvet. Okay. So what I like to do is I like to have the title right here. And then I like to let people know what it is. So let's pretend like vanilla velvet is a 
Let's get fancy with the names again. Oops. Okay, Vanilla Velvet is a... Let's say it's a triple whipped body butter. Alrighty, now let's pick a font for that. Let's see what's going to work. I think this one might work. If we bring it down, there we go. And then I like to space it out to give it some contrast. That looks pretty good. Okay, and then depending on what kind of label you like, for my latest ones, I like to put the ingredients on the side. So I will add another text. Let's add a subheading. Okay, and then I like to turn it to the side. If you wanna have your ingredients right there on the front, you can. It's pretty cool, the customers do like it. I'm gonna add mine on the side here. And over here, I like to add simple directions, any sort of important storage instructions or ingredients so your customers know what they're getting. Let's just do something really quick. Just add it mock. Let's do some ingredients. I'll do it all caps. Ingredients. We'll do shea butter, uh, safflower oil, vanilla, beans, and let's do vanilla oil. Okay, and then you're just gonna add whatever goes into your ingredients personally. Make sure it's within your margins. Hope you're gonna have to up the size just a little bit here. Okay, so there's our ingredients. And then I like to basically copy that and add in here, let's do our directions. And then just put something simple. People like having this right on the bottle. They don't have to look anywhere harder to see it. It makes the experience a little bit better. Um, apply generous amount to desired area of the body. I know typos. Um, massage until fully absorbed into the skin. Simple, easy peasy. We're going to make it just a little bit smaller. Let's go to six. Okay. Um, on the front, I forgot really quick. You are going to put the size. So let's say, let's drop this down. And let's say this is eight ounces, eight fluid ounces, eight fluid ounces. There you go. Okay. Um, on the front too, less is more. People kind of get it with that, but you could always put a selling point on here. Um, maybe like letting people know, for example, um, let's see. I'm just going to show you an example and we can, we'll see if it fits or not. Okay. Um, let's try, what font is that? I think that's this one up there. You can always put a selling point. You can put shea, let's do shea, butter. I like to do those little dots. They're kind of fancy. And then like vanilla. And people like seeing that fancy. And then you just make sure it's everything is like spaced out evenly. That looks kind of cool and it's close together. Move this up a little bit. And this is kind of like a little bit of just marketing. People can see. And on the, on the other side, you can add any sort of disclaimers. You can put, I know you'd have to put your address so or where it's made. And make sure to follow your guidelines for whatever um the labeling standards are going to be okay so you guys are labeling these properly and up to par this video is basically just to show you guys how to do it okay um so we'll do mine made in las vegas nevada 89149 
and we're gonna do that let's see we're gonna do the positioning ah here we go okay there we go and you add it just like that so this is a mock label okay for you guys to see how you can do a label how you can just take something make it really simple make it elegant and beautiful with just a few cool apps that we have here so just for this one i used canva uh, like i said there is a free version and you can choose to use that you can upgrade like i would recommend and so this is kind of how you can create a a uh, logo from start just like we did before and then you can also do a really cool label um, tailored to the exact dimensions that you need okay so let me know if this video was informative i hope it helps whoever needs it whenever it comes time to make graphics or logos you can kind of do these things very simply and um let me know if you find this video informative okay i'll see you guys on the next one take care and thanks for tuning in